Good morning, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. Going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 17 plate. It's a Citroen Dispatch 1.6 HDI um, in the Enterprise specification. Um, so that's like their top of the range specification. It also has a few additional extras fitted to it as well. Um, so we have a multi-function steering wheel. We have factory sat nav fitted as standard. Um, and then we have uh, yeah, a nice little roof rack up there on the roof and a little bit of internal racking as well. But uh, they're really nice specification vans are standard anyway. Um, this is, I think it's a two keeper from new. We supplied it originally to the second keeper. Uh, it's in great all round condition. Uh, we've just had the steel wheels refurbed on it. That's the only thing that these things suffer with really is steel wheels, shitty steel wheels. But unfortunately that's come with, doesn't matter what manufacturer you buy, they're all the same. Um, but let's start up on there on the roof, hopefully you can see. You know, if you don't want this, this roof rack fitted, um, you know, we can remove it for you. That's not a major drama at all. Um, but it's a galvanised roof rack with uh, some sides on it, so that's quite a handy bit of kit. But so if you don't want it, we'll remove it for you, it's not a problem. Um, but then the wind, the wind has blown a uh, little bit of a tree all over it since we uh, washed it off. But, um, Screen. There are no major stone chips that are going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time, of which this will have this, obviously have a 12 months ticket put on it before it goes out the door. On the bonnet, um, apart from the additional bit of uh, the trees that you can see that are blown on it, there are no, nothing major stone chip wise or anything along those lines. Passenger headlamp unit is all good, passenger side front bumper corners are all good with no scuffing. Very, very clean. Around to the front of the van, all your front grills, front bumper, etc. That's all good. Driver's side headlamp unit is all good. Driver's side front bumper corner is all good with no scuffing. Again, getting down low, just looking down the side profile of the van. Actually, I can see one parking ding on the sliding door on this side, but other than that, pretty straight and tidy. Driver's side front wing again is covered in a bit of uh, it's a uh, 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 thingamajig off the trees, whatever you call it. Um, not lavender, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, stuff off the trees for want of a better word, um, but there's no, uh, no cosmetics or anything like that. As you can see, freshly refurbed steel wheel with a Hankook tyre. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth as you can see there. Your mirror unit, mirror cover, mirror itself is all good. Driver's side door glass, that's all good with no scuffing. Well, no scuffing, no uh, scratching from it going up and down or anything like that. Driver's side door, that's all looking good. Your driver's side door handle and lock is good. We have some minor scratching behind there. We have some teeth in behind there and some polish, but we'll sort that out for you. Driver's side door edges are good, they all line up properly, there's no major damage to those or anything. Getting down low and looking at your seals, the seals are in good condition, no damage to those. Same with the black protective strip down the side of it, that's all in good order as well. Sliding door this side, again, it's got some uh, stuff off the trees on it, but that'll all just wash off, okay? It's obviously the wind's just blown everything onto it, but um, yeah, sliding door's all looking good. Your door handle's all good. That little parking ding I was talking about, you can may, may or may not be able to see it there. It is quite small, I have to say. I really don't think it's a major driver. Upper quarter driver side is all good. Lower quarter driver side is all good. Steel wheel on the back here, again all good. We have another matching Hankook tyre. And that tyre has, I would say, probably about four to five millimetres of tyre drift depth on it. Where we are with tyres, anything less than three millimetres that we've replaced, legal limit being 1.6 and new tyre being between seven and 10. As you can see, it's got a nice gleam to the paintwork. It's not dull or anything. All looking good. Your rear light unit on this side, that's all good. Door hinges, 
Top one's all good. Bottom one has that ele uh, small element of corrosion on it. Really common on these because they stick out. If you have a look, see how they stick out down the side of the van. And great, we've got a little bit of hail coming from the sky now, I think. But uh, there we go. Uh, drive side bumper corner, that's all good. As you can also see, your rear reflector. Reverse parking sensors as well. Those are all standard factory. But the rear bumper, hopefully you can see, no major dents or scourges or wear or tear from it. Uh, being worked, it's, uh, it is in really good condition to be fair. Rear barn doors, again those are in great condition as well. High level brake lights in good condition. Door edges, those are all good. Rear door handle and lock is all good. If I open it up, we're starting to button a bit of a gale. Armageddon has suddenly arrived since I started doing the video. Right, inside of the van is in good condition as well. Okay, your door, interiors of the doors, you can see whilst there are small minor marks and stuff, the vast majority of the paintwork is in really good condition. And then flooring, so we've got, well, we've got a cracking little racking system for starters. Your ply lining is in great condition. Bulkhead is in good order as well. We've got the opening hatch here, which gives you additional low length on the inside. But overall, really nice, tidy condition inside the van. Just chuck that prop sack back in and away. Looking down the passenger side again, the white paintwork has got a nice gleam to it. Again, there's nothing major to point out to you cosmetically. Rear light unit this side is all good. Bucket on this side all good. This lower one has a small amount of corrosion like you've seen on the other side. Rear bumper corners are good. Upper quarter this side is all good. Lower quarter this side is all good. Your locking fuel flap is in there. Again, the steel wheel this side freshly refurbished with a hand-cut tire. All matches and that has plenty of tire tread depth as you can see. Sliding door this side, again in good order. Passenger door glass is all good. Passenger door this side is all good. We have door handles and locks are in good condition. Your door edges, again, are in good order as well. And your door seals, your door seals, the seals of the vehicle, I should say, are in good order as well. Passenger front wing, that's all good. Side repeater's all good. Steel wheel this side again, another matching hand-cooked tyre. So we've got four hand-cooked tyres that all match nicely on the vehicle and they're all in great condition. Uh, sliding doors, you can see, we have twin sliding doors on this vehicle. So one on the drivers, one on the passenger. But the sliding doors open and slide back and hold into position nicely. Minor little bits of marks here on the sliding door sills but nothing major your plastic bits are all good there's your hatch that opens up to give you some additional load length underneath your passenger seat hopefully you can see very straight and tidy looking at your door edges as well those are all good as you'd expect passenger side of the vehicle your door card on this side is in good condition and two of your door cards are in good order as well um, electric window switches headlining's all good factory bulkhead as you can see you've got this kind of half leather don't take me to court if it's not leather okay plastic whatever but seating system is all nice on it your entry seals and plastics this side are all good flooring inside is all good starting to snow now that's all very pleasant and the sunshine's come out at the same time book packs in there dashboard fascia that's all nice uh, there's your add blue filler there's your bonnet release your bonnet release is just there look underneath your bonnet that is your correct color coolant for the citrum there's nothing wrong with that um, there is your oil filler 
Your engine bay, as you can see, is in nice, clean, tidy condition. There's your fuse box. There's your battery. There is your bonnet stay. And yeah, they're all nice, tidy condition. And what is going on with this weather? Door card. That's all good. Inside your door card, clean and tidy. Entry steps and sills on the driver's side are in nice condition. Flooring on the driver's side, you know, small amount of rear, but nothing major. Pedal rubbers are all good. Driver's seat squabs, etc., are in good condition. You have a really minor amount of wear there. It's quite common on them. Let's just find the keys. Oh, jeez. Fire it up. Does a systems check. Fires up nicely. So, a um, few extra things. It's got a bit of extra display information on this model because it's got this multi-function steering wheel which is all part of a package that you can buy but your steering wheel as you can see still has the factory texture on there and then you've got a bit of voice activation going on volume and search controls for your stereo um, run to your computer system on your dashboard using this left hand one as well we have electric windows and electric mirrors over here we have dashboard uh, sorry headlamp level is here we have interior alarm sensor turn off button there on these stalks over here your right hand stalk does your wipers uh, button on the end also runs you through your computer system on your dashboard on here as well so it tells you what your range is and your average mpg and all of that malarkey um Touchscreen uh, stereo system, which is really nice on these vans, but this one does have the additional factory sat nav fitted to it as well. Um, and then you can also have um, yeah, various sort of diagnostics and, and, and system setup things here. Uh, we have DAB, AM, and FM on the stereo. We have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. You can have different profiles for your drivers set. Uh, and then you can, uh, using the USB port here with the wire that goes to your telephone, you can have Apple CarPlay, Citroen connected apps, Mirrorlink and Android Auto. Um, and then obviously your normal Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Uh, factory air conditioning as well. We have electronic stability program, hazard warning lights, um, central locking for the rear of the van, central locking for the whole van. As I've already said, USB power here and a 12 volt power there as well five speed manual gearbox reverse gear is all the way to the right and back towards you and that gives you um, your park distance display over there as well um, and then on these stalks over here we have manual lights and then we have cruise control and speed limiter as well um, <clears throat> top of the dashboard in here is all clean and tidy we have interior alarm uh, interior light sensors um, map reading lights um, interior sensors for your alarm system and all of that. Uh, microphones for your Bluetooth. Looking in between your seats, it's very clean and tidy. No old McDonald's there. And then, yeah, there we go. Sorry, telephone just went off. So there we go. Um, 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle on our website which is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance uh, feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email sales at vanstoday.com um, thanks for the video hopefully you've got a good idea but basically you've got a two keeper from you 63,000 mile citroen uh, dispatch 1.6 hdi enterprise with the additional factory sat nav and multi-function steering wheel with your additional roof rack up there a really great spec van in great all-round condition cheers